For the most part, um, we have a very, really great working relationship between the state, locals, and FEMA. So That's what I'm worried about. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Lockchain.com. Um, 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 um. Historically, even I have to admit, the authorities have reacted generally pretty well to the moderate disasters mm -hmm. that have happened over the last 10 years. My concern is what happens if we have a Katrina-level disaster here? Will there be a Katrina-style reaction where authorities are going door-to-door -door taking people's guns? Uh, I don't think that a situation like that would ever happen here in New Hampshire, um, but I can tell you that we have an all-hazards approach to everything we do. So all of the planning that we put out there, we are all about all hazards approach and like I said the locals are the ones who are on the ground they're the ones who are responding to these emergencies and at the state level we're just coordinating bringing in resources and helping the local municipalities that might be getting overwhelmed by a large-scale incident but you know we really learned um, a lot from previous storms that we had like the 08 ice storm you know after that the we came together as a whole state and we talked about how we can work better together we're a small state we have to rely on each other so I think that's really important um, that we've started that process and we continue to evaluate after every disaster after every ex exercise we come together and we do an after action report and we talk about what worked what didn't work so you know if we have the big one here in New Hampshire I can tell you that we're here today preparing for that right do you have any sense of what the taxpayer expense is here today? Uh, this exercise is funded by the Homeland Security Grant Program that comes from the federal government. Oh, okay. So the federal government it gives the state a certain amount of money to fund these exercises. Um, so this is money that's you know I owed to the to the citizens of New Hampshire. You know this is for them. We're out here practicing for the citizens. To what extent is that going to come with strings? I mean, what if the feds say during a disaster that you should behave a certain way that you don't want to? Uh, well, l like we said, the state in, and the locals have the ultimate authority and, you know, so when we talk about the plans and stuff like that, those are written by the locals. Um, you know, we are just simply there to assist them in their operation and their plans and for the most part, um, we have a very, really great working relationship between the state locals and FEMA. So That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, you know, it, I, I would tell you that uh, I don't think any citizen would be concerned about um, all of us working together, which is what we're trying to do. To what extent do you have Massachusetts police here today? Any? I don't think there's, this is not uh, really a law enforcement exercise, mm -hmm. so uh, there's not too many law enforcement uh, agencies involved except for they're working with the uh, Emergency Operations Center to coordinate what they would hypothetically be doing in a situation like this, which is making sure that residents are safe. But there are, there are Massachusetts uh, uh, first responders? Uh, I think, um, I'm, I'm actually not sure that there's anyone from Massachusetts here today. Okay. I know we have New York, Vermont, Virginia, um, and obviously people from here, from here in New Hampshire. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, again, that's my concern, is that the culture is different here from New York or Massachusetts or uh, Well, you know, it comes back to we're all trying to train on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, so the Swiftwater rescue teams are what are from other states are coming to observe and see how yeah. we're doing I know it. Swiftwater is probably pretty much the same from state to state, but, uh, you know, the, the, the political culture is very different here. People have a, a freedom values here that do not exist in New York, and do we want New York authorities here? Uh, well, in the incident command system, which is how anyone in the country operates now, you fall under the chain of command. So ultimately, the state uh, has a chain of command, and then the locals have a chain of command. Right now, the Emergency Operations Center is up and operational here in Bedford for this exercise. And so they are dictating where resources go within the state, and you won't find anyone who's part of this operation who's going outside of their what the... Emergency Operations Center has asked them to do. Okay, I hope that's how it plays out, uh, if it ever has to play out. I mean, it has. I mean, we've used out-of-state resources before, and everyone is on the same page. We follow the plans that we have in place. Okay. Emily, I much appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much. All right. You take care. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins, 
They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.